Mali's interim president Asimi Goita recently accused France of attempting to undermine the Malian economy by printing counterfeit franc CFA, a method he likened to that used against Guinea under Sekou in 1960. This controversial statement was made during a speech in Sikasso, highlighting the growing defiance towards the former colonial power. In 1960, Guinea experienced an attempt at economic destabilization orchestrated by France, including the creation and distribution of counterfeit currency. The aim of this operation was to provoke hyperinflation and weaken the newly independent regime of Sekou Touré, which had decided to leave the France CFA zone in favor of a national currency. According to Colonel Asimi Goita, France is using similar strategies against Mali with the aim of undermining the economy through economic terrorism, one of the three forms of terrorism the Malian president attributes to the country's current challenges, the others being armed terrorism and major terrorism, which involves the dissemination of fake news to foment internal divisions. This statement comes at a time when Mali had already faced ECOWAS sanctions in 2022 which have exacerbated the economic costs for Malians, particularly in terms of port of fees in Guinea, a key trading partner following these sanctions. Colonel Asimi Goita's call to abandon the France fee in favor of a local currency reflects growing anti-colonial sentiment and a desire for financial independence. However, these statements have raised concerns on the international stage as they could lead to heightened diplomatic tensions between France and Mali.